What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Playa del Carmen. We're gonna show you the best things to do. Let's do it. That's right everybody. We're gonna show you around 21 things to do in the Riviera Maya area here in Playa del Carmen. So let's go ahead and get into it. Walking around. First up is walking around Avenida. Now here on Avenida, you're gonna find everything from restaurants, shopping, also lots of walking around with many different people, locals and tourists alike. This is probably one of the most touristic places in all of Mexico. In the daytime and the nighttime, you'll see these local shows. They have dancing, you also have music being played. You'll have traditional indigenous shows going on as well while you're walking along Avenida. You can take pictures with the performers and they do typically expect a tip. Every night you can find action here. Now here we are walking the beaches of Playa del Carmen. And the main beaches that you're gonna see here is gonna be like 38th Street Beach, which is probably the most beautiful beach in Playa del Carmen. Then you have Calle 10 Beach, Playa Car, you also have Coco Beach, several different beaches that you can walk around. But a lot of these have hotels that allow you to uh, sit on some of these day beds. So it just depends where you're staying, where you wanna be exactly. But do check out the beaches right there in Playa. Here we are now at the Mayan portal. This here is the Mayan portal, which is an open door for visitors. They also have the indigenous shows that you will see here, but it really stands for prosperity in the Mayan peninsula. That's what this statue you see right here really means. I do consider this the heart of Playa del Carmen. Now, when it comes to these indigenous shows, you will see traditional dance and other activities going on down here. If you do get asked to tip, you can give them anywhere between 50 pesos or 100 pesos, whatever you feel inclined to give. But then they also have the, the Mayan pole dance, which is called the Danza Ceremony. It's a pre-Hispanic ritual that goes back in time. Four flying men go up there and they spin down, upside down. As far as the other shows go, you will hear music. They also do burning of some sort of smoke. I'm not exactly sure what it is. And then you'll see lots of dancing. And it's really an awesome vibe. This was taking place pretty much every day around three or four o'clock. Now what we're gonna do is check out one of the many parks in the area. This one here is called Eshkaret. It is a water theme park. They have slides, they have underground subterranean rivers, and they have restaurants. An adult ticket price is $130. $35. Now let's talk about local food here in Playa del Carmen. So I found it to be fun to go around to various different restaurants and try the different tacos. You will find a difference here. There's a wide variety of styles and flavors. I seem to always end up with either camarones or steak tacos, which is the carne asada, but also they have ceviche, which is a very delicious dish, enchiladas, you can name it, they got it here. Oh yeah, and we can't forget about fajitas. Now here we are at the Fast Ferry in Playa del Carmen that goes to Cozumel. Look at that. Now there are a few different ferries that go to Cozumel from Playa del Carmen. The ticket price is about 290 pesos for one way or 16 US dollars. If you wanted a round trip ticket, it's, a, it's about $31. Now the two companies are called Ultramar or Windjet. Now once on Cozumel, you can do a Circle Island tour in a buggy or you can actually just hang out in San Miguel de Cozumel. People like to also do snorkeling tours to El Cielo. So really a lot of activities that you can do once on Cozumel. It's an adventure all in of itself, but it's easily accessible from Playa del Carmen. Now what we're gonna do is check out some archeological sites. This one here is Chichen Itza, which is one of the most famous archeological sites around the Yucatan and Riviera Maya. The most popular way to get here is by group tour. A closer and more accessible one would be the Tulum archaeological site. This one's also very impressive sitting along the coastline in Tulum. This one's a bit closer than Chichen Itza because it's an hour away, whereas Chichen Itza is about two hours and 20 minutes. The price to visit these archaeological sites is around 30 to $35 by itself. So I do recommend tours and on those tours, you will be able to go to cenotes. So try and do a Chichen Itza tour that also includes a cenote or a Tulum tour that also includes a cenote. And you get two for one, basically save some money, get some transport, and you get to relax the whole time. But yeah, there's many different cenotes in Riviera Maya. There's so many that I can't even list them all. 
Just some to add to the list would be Cenote Azul or Cenote Cristalino. They also have the Casa Cenote, I believe that's Casa Tortuga, the uh, Sanctuary Tortuga, I should say, but then there's uh, Parque de Cenote, Octun Chen, so so many different ones all around here. Try not to wear any sunscreen or chemicals in your detergents when you're in these pools. Now let's talk about another beach area. This one is in Tulum, so it's about an hour away, but if you've never been down to Tulum, go to the beach road and check out the beach and some of the beach clubs. Typically, you will have to actually go to one of the beach clubs to get access to the beach, so take that into consideration, but what an incredible place Tulum Beach really is. As you can see, so much going on down here. You can make a day trip out of this. Now let's talk about another archeological site. This one here is called Coba. It's about two and a half to three hours away from Playa del Carmen, but this is a really cool uh, archeological site. They're still excavating it. You'll see that the jungle still covers most of these uh, pyramids. And even as you're walking around, you'll say, hey, looks like there's a pyramid there, I think, but they still hadn't excavated it. So you'll see these ball cords also, which makes it cool. Now here we are at the Madame Tussaud Museum. So this wax museum is right along Avenida. It's really an activity you can do uh, in the evening time or in the daytime. And people like to stop here and take funny, silly pictures. That's really what you're gonna get. Uh, sometimes they do two for one specials. I believe the entrance price is around $25 per person, but it's something to do along Avenida while you're hanging out. Also, as we continue to show you around Playa del Carmen, I want to let you know that we are going to do more travel guides for Riviera Maya. There's a Tulum video coming up. Also, we're going to go down to Belize. So definitely stay tuned for that as we continue to post those. I will post links to those videos down below. And of course, the big daddy of them all, which is Cancun. All right, from Chewbacca, we're headed back out. Nice. Oh, noise is from. This is Mook. Very strong, amigo. No. The owner's son. Owner's son, yeah. The niño. Okay. It's suave. This is Mook. Okay, Mook smooth. Strong. Manuel, is no. Don Julio, you give me for free, huh? Yeah, free, 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 oh, tequila. Come on. Grande. What's the name? Como se llama el nombre aquí? Ah, the Maya Store. Is it real? Maya. Alpaca? It, no, it's steel, silver, 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 silver. Alpaca or no, still? No, it's probably for La Plata. Alpaca. Probably before I see Alpaca. Now here we are at the Frida Kahlo Museum. For those of you looking for a little bit of an art experience, you can go over here to the museum for Frida Kahlo. They also have a main museum in Mexico City. Many of you may have seen that in Kiowa Khan. But this one here is a satellite museum. It's an introduction to this amazing artist. If you guys want to learn more, stop by here and check it out. It's right along Avenida. She was, she is a very famous Mexican artist. Ticket prices here are around 25 US dollars. Another popular thing to do while here is do a salon or a massage. Seems like these are popular activities. I personally came here and got a haircut. Along with tequila tasting, you can also do some shopping. You can get a cowboy hat or a sombrero. I also did some silver shopping. As you can see, I got some plata, which is silver. They have gold here. But then you can get souvenirs uh, to bring back home, shot glasses, all of that. Also consider doing some water sports. They have the banana boats, paragliding, and other water activities, snorkeling, swimming, doing all that along the beach, getting out there on the water, maybe a jet ski, really fun activity for a day at the beach. In a beach is probably the most famous beach in the area is Cancun, so you can head up there for a day trip as well. So you're just base camping in Playa del Carmen, right in the middle of Riviera Maya. You're visiting Tulum in the south one day, you're visiting Cancun another day. These are things to do if you plan to be here for a week or two weeks maybe. And another water park just like Eshkaret is Jal Ha. I've been to both and they're unique in their own respective ways. You could probably do both and really enjoy it, but it's really hard to pick one or the other. But if I had to, I would say Eshkaret is one step above Jal Ha. Although if you want to swim in the ocean, snorkel and check out reefs, I would say Jal Ha is a bit better for that. 
Also another benefit of Zhao Ha is prices are a bit more affordable. Here you can get in for $100. And there's a few more zip lines and rides here. So now for my final thoughts on Playa del Carmen. As I was mentioning previously, the reason I really love Playa del Carmen is because it's centrally located. And with that being said, you can visit Cancun and even go to Isla Mujeres or some of those other places uh, towards the north, like Holbosch in a day trip. You're also close enough to Tulum where that feels a lot more accessible going to places like Bacalar maybe is even more accessible from Playa del Carmen, although that's a bit further. So I really enjoy the centrality of this location, also being very close to Cozumel. So I feel like location makes Playa del Carmen really special for me. But one thing that I would say that I didn't mention, the cenotes more in detail, I would say get out there to some of the Rio Secretos or some of the other inland theme parks if someone offers you to go to explore or some of those places definitely consider it it's really a lot of activities to do here you could stay for two weeks and still feel like you didn't do it all so with that being said guys thank you for watching here at the end of the video i will place a link to our cancun things to do as well as a tulum video so be sure to watch those see you guys on the next one thank you to all of our subscribers and channel members